picking up from that last video, um, when you drag the PDF on top of Photoshop, here's the most important setting right here, the resolution. Um, I work at 72 quite often when I'm just playing around because these file sizes can get huge. When we are working for uh, commercially viable products, we'll probably crank this up to at least 300 and we're going to talk about the final size because we want to offer these at high resolution because right off the bat, this is a vector and we can scale it to any size. But once we start doing this, even though these are smart objects, these are raster-based smart objects and they are not scalable as graceful as um, the vectors are. So for right now, 150 is just fine. This is a good size so we can see lots of detail, but, 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 this is not the size we will use. Um, so yeah, you mean we gotta make them again? Everything you make is not a keeper. The things that are, you have your cheat sheet here. You have your breadcrumbs. You know every single setting. You can double click on these. You know the blending mode. You can see it all. So this is your recipe. And remaking something that you think is, is great will help reinforce those skills and probably push that image a little further. Okay, I want to show you some of the tricks I used in this prior um, Shapescape stack. Uh, but if you're interested in working in Arc Welder or uh, Shape Plane, I'll make videos on those too. So you can skip to those and come back to this if you want. Okay? Okay.